Man, listen, man, who cares? Man, man, kill that noise. Let us know all that went down in China. Okay, you know, it's, it, it was it was it was it was good. You know, it was a lot of things going on. Um, I have pe uh, I pictures, <laughs> pictures that speak, you know, for themselves. You know, I walked the Great Wall of China. You know, I went through all that. Um, I went to museums, got to got to some temples, saw some real live, you know, Shaolin monk dudes and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot to say, you know, but we went to four different cities. Uh, Beijing was, was cold as fuck, you know. Um, that's like the north side of uh, China. And I only had like a hoodie and a vest. And we were walking the Great Wall where there was just nothing but mountains and all that, all that crazy shit out there. So pretty much, yeah, they built that wall to stop the Mongolians from, you know, even coming through or whatever. So, you know, to the other side, you know, to invade and stuff because they were like poor and stuff, you know, all that crazy shit. So... But um, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to talk about, you know what I'm saying? But the way they live out there is crazy. You know, it's crazy. I was just telling Wes and them that um, how they potty train their kids. I'm walking in the street. I'm chilling. And then I see this little boy just doodling, do, you know, doodling in the street. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, and then the cops is chilling there. They're not even saying nothing. But that's how they uh, potty train their kids, you know, in public. You know, and... Um, I don't know. It's it's a lot to say, you know. All that rude shit, you know. You you notice like some people, um, especially you know some people from like overseas and stuff. You know, they you ever you run into a lot of people that's rude that just don't have manners that just won't say sorry that just that's just how they flow. They're a lot worse out there. Traffic is a lot worse out there. Like I can only imagine. I'm talking about you know when you go you know when you be on the um like. If we were like in a carnival and we're just racing like in a go-kart or something like that, go-kart racing, that traffic is like that, son. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. You're just going through anybody. China is like, very highly populated. That's why they had the restrictions on the amount of kids that each family has. You know that, right? It's crazy. I don't know yeah. if they still have that, but yeah, I think they still do. Yeah, yeah. they, they. Listen, there's, there's a lot of them rocking out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. But, um... I don't know. It's, it's a lot to say. I mean, if you had questions and things like that, you know... I get into it. So, did you go out to like any um, China like like popular spots, like any popular um, China restaurants or yeah, Apache yeah, Apache places? Yeah, yeah, I, I got in. Yeah, I got I got to check out some places. You know what I mean? Like uh, we had tour guides and stuff from every city and all that, and you know they were recommending us to like certain places and stuff. And there was a place they recommended us, but I, I saw a squid on a stick, and I was just like, like nah, I'm good. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm chilling. Like, I don't do squid on the stick. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Was so, it alive? If you wanted it to be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, if you wanted it to yeah. be. Yeah. Wow. It was raw out there, you know. Um, even when we ate dinner, we ate in, like, uh, mostly, like, um, how can I say? Uh, the type of places. You know, fa family size restaurant type of stuff, you know, round table, you know, thing. They, they were giving us all types of food. I know I was putting on, like, crazy weight when I was out there. You know what I'm saying? I was eating nothing but rice. I was eating chicken. I was trying to play it safe. You know what I mean? I didn't want to get too crazy and be like, hey, what's this? You know? Ugh. You know? But right. I didn't want to get too crazy because, you know, my ass is going to be the 11 days. I wasn't trying to be 11 days sick, you know? I try to, you know, make sure I didn't drink the water like that for me. I had bottled water and stuff like that. So, cool. I was good, you know? 
They eat like fried, um, I think it's fried jellyfish, man. Noodles. Yeah, I heard of that before. Yeah, I tried it. Was it good? Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. It had a little garlic on it and shit like that. It was, it was good. I didn't even know it was until they told me. And I was just like, right. Ah, uh, right, bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> That shit was uh, already in my system, be... but okay. But the, the the flight the flight was mad long. It was it was crazy. That's not that shit. That shit is not fun. You know, being in that flight made me want to get an iPad and shit. Like it's crazy. Made me want to get an iPad. I had everything charged. My I had my laptop, my phone. You know all that extra shit. But did they allow you to use like electronic stuff on it? They did. Like after you, you know. You in the air already, you know what I'm saying? It's only they tell you to turn off your shit like whenever we're about to land or, you know, right. like regular shit, you know what I mean? But it was good, but I miss my brothers, man. I miss y'all. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, we miss you. It's been three weeks. March. Yeah. Whole month of March, really. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a year, you know what I'm saying? It's been a year. So. It's been a long time. Yeah. But um, B Fam is back, and um, I'm glad that Mike had that experience. I'm sure it's an experience that he will never forget. Did you go to any clubs while he was out there? Any clubs? I could have, but you know what I'm saying. Because I, 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 I want to know what the club scene is like out there. I don't know. I'm I know I was. I know I was by the. I was. I was in a hotel, <laughs> and um, I heard some music in the background, and it was like. Punky Tonky has a mission. Hey, Missy, who need you, Chavi, sir? Hey, Booyah! Booyah! Yeah, I heard your titties. I heard your titties. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear my titties on that. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is he saying. But, yeah. um, okay. Yeah, All sure right. Like that. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I'm glad. I'm glad he had that experience, y'all. I know in like the previous B fan videos, I was like anti-China, but it wasn't that I was anti-China really. It was just that you know I I'm an open mind. I have an open mind when it comes to particular situations, but I just I don't know. Like like that's like going to Mars for me. I, I just I don't know. So it takes me a while to really soak up <laughs> soak in the like. The, the good and positive things about going to Mars, but I'm just... Bitch, I was a sponge when I got there. I was I'm sure you were. All that. Yeah. It was real out there, though. I would I would definitely want to they take got, a trip they, out there. They got, a, they got the lowest crime rate out there, too. They got the lowest crime rate? Word. I was thinking, you know, you probably see, like, some Hong Kong gangs, you know, some dude chilling, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, like check bad. that out, yeah, you know? Bad. But they had graffiti bad. out there. Still they had some graffiti out there. Cool. It was it was crazy. All oh, uh, the toilets. What about the toilets? They had eastern and western toilets. Western would be the toilets that we have. Eastern, you gotta squat on that motherfucker. Yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta squat. Cause that low. It's that low. Like you dropping it low, drop it like it. Yeah. So the, is it the water like splashing back up at you? There was no. <laughs> I don't know. Child. What you mean you don't it just, know? It's just really For 11 days you didn't go to the bathroom? No, I didn't go on that shit. <laughs> what? Oh, you went on the Western tour. Listen, whatever I had to do with shit, I waited to the hotel. I hear you. I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't squatting on that shit. And it was just nasty. It just smelled nasty in those bathrooms. Like, it was just... Mm -mm. It was crazy. Like last night? It was, yo, it was like 20 times that Oh damn Piss infested Like somebody just walked up, skipped I was like <laughs> It seems like every bathroom we went into last night was horrible Everything from the movie theater to the club Oh uh, Yeah, the bathrooms in the movie theater Yeah mm -hmm. That was a bit much That was much I had to tip I, You know and, and Yeah, I, I, I hate going into public bathrooms because It's really one of those situations where it's just like You don't know what this person, the person before you've been through so it's like when you walk in there, you automatically get the smell, and then you're on the floor. It's all wet and like toilet tissue and stuff. You on the floor, and then you look at the toilet, and it be all yellow and wet and nasty. So it's <laughs> like when before you even sit on there, you really gotta clean that shit off. And I never, I always go like this to to flush the toilet. I never <laughs> use my hands, never. Even if I, even if I, even if I like roll up. 
some toilet paper. I never, I never do that. I roll up the toilet paper to open the door, but to flush the toilet, I'm always using my boot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And yesterday, it was a huge situation. I had to handle my business, and I was pulling the toilet paper off, folding it up, putting it on the seat, pulling more toilet paper off, put it on the other side. Yes, bitch, Next all side. three sides. Mm -hmm. Yes, bitch, I need toilet paper on my ass. <laughs> not, not somebody else's leftovers. Man, listen. That shit is crazy. It's man. a nasty situation. Ugh. But you got a lot of pictures from Shana on your Facebook page. Yeah, I so do. I do. Check that out on yeah, page. yeah, yeah definitely. Like it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not so much about, you know, it's, it's a lot to talk about. Like, you would just have to ask me questions, you know, for me to just say, oh, yeah, well, actually, you know, it was just a lot that I absorbed 11 days, and we did so much each day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we did 20, 30 different things that one day, so it, it's a lot. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So, I definitely, you know, we, we got the deal from um, from living living social, living social, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's expensive to get out there. We got a deal to go out there, like, for, like, 700 you know what I'm saying? So, it wasn't bad. That was good. Um, uh, it was all-inclusive, you know, we stayed in nothing but five-star hotels. I actually got a lot of clips that we probably can show on this video too, that I did on my phone and stuff like that. I think one of them I'm showing a hotel room and stuff. You know, we'll try to put some pictures on this video, you know what I'm saying? Do a little slideshow or whatnot, you know what I mean? But it was, it was good. It was, it was real good. There was a language barrier thing, you know. But I heard um, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, I never been to Hong Kong. We went to four different cities. There's mad parts of, um, China, but I heard Hong Kong is like the, the Vegas of China, and they know English perfectly well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So That's what's up. It's good. It's, <coughs> it's good out there. Our money doubles. You know what I'm saying? I went to exchange 400, and I got 24,000. 24, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely popping now. Got me some kicks, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Still I can't wait to see those. What? <sighs> And you know I've been getting some. Y'all already know he's like the fashion fashion guru of the group. Um, well, I wouldn't really say guru, you know, but why um, did I just get that look? Because we had we had discussions about fashions last night. Um, yeah, Wesley be hating on my fashion, y'all. I don't hate. I just don't understand he it. He be hating on my fashion. You don't. Have so that's the whole point. Now, I, that, I didn't say I did. I'm just telling you that I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you don't get? What is? I'm the only. I know you're not gonna say it and tell me that you understand. What you don't get? Yeah. What is it that you don't get? Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I love my brother to death. <laughs> I love him. This is my. This is my newest friend in my life. So I. I, I really do. I appreciate him. I love him and I respect him. And he shows me the same, you know, he shows me the same. But I feel that in any relationship, you should be able to voice your opinion and communicate, you know, without any, you know, fear of getting punched in the jaw. This dude wanted to fight me yesterday because I, I couldn't understand why he wore a blazer to the movie theaters. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like an H&M blazer. It was like a church blazer. So I was really trying to understand because when he took off his jacket, I was like... I'm like, because he when I spoke to him on the phone, he was at home. And he knew that he was coming out to hang with first us. Phone Hold on, wait, wait, let me finish that. Let me finish that. Let me finish that. Let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. It's not the switch. Here we go. Okay. First, let me talk, because you know they don't like when we be interrupting each other. So don't interrupt me. Okay. So um so we he's at home and we're talking on the phone. We have planned to go out. Friday. It is now Saturday. I'm waking up from working on overnights. I get up. I speak to him on the phone. He's like, hey, we still going out, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we still going out. You know, Mike is coming now, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to meet in the city, da, da, da. All right, cool. And we had we had a bag discussion because usually every time we meet up, it's always him coming after work. So he always has to carry stuff and he always is in work attire. But this fool was at home. So I wasn't expecting him to have work attire on. So... I haven't seen him in a while or whatever. I get well, I saw him last week last week, but we get to the movie theater and you know, he had on a thick jacket or whatever because it's kinda cold, so I didn't know that I would see what I saw when he took off the jacket. So we, <laughs> we sit we sitting down at the movie theater 
He took off his jacket and I see <laughs> What's up? a blazer. Like not even a blazer, like a suit jacket. I don't even know what you call them. Which was hot. Listen. It was listen, hot. Listen. Don't interrupt. I get plenty I of saw that. comments every time I wear it. Okay, so. that's fine. I saw that and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, where did didn't he just call me from home? I'm like, this boy be really trying to make a statement with his fashions. Cause I every time I every time That's why my name is Centric. It's short for eccentric. Okay. So uh, you have to match uh, it's a see until you get Damn. into the art of who I am, you're not gonna understand me. I'm right for the art of who he is. Exactly. All Everybody is has their own way of expressing. And that's them, fine, that's which cool. Is art. So that's and, the, and the more I, the more I get to know you, the more I'll be able to understand. But right now it just wasn't registering because I'm like B fans. <laughs> B B fans. B fan well, B fan fans. Just so this, wear what's, what makes you comfortable, be confident in what you wear, and don't worry about what else, what other people say, okay? All right, and I so agree, <laughs> I so agree. But uh, he was ready to, he was ready to go hammer time on me like yesterday. Cause he was really going <laughs> in on my blazer, but, but, but I wasn't going uh, in. But meanwhile, but meanwhile, how many dudes did we see in how many dudes did we see in the club with a blazer on last night? No. Yes, no. I saw I saw about a good three or four dudes in the club with a blazer. With a church blazer. No, that blazer was different though. It Wait, was like a club blazer. It was like an Asian blazer. blazer. It's it not was like a damn church blazer. It's just a regular blazer. It looked like that from when you were sitting there. And it's stylish, thank you. It's not like it's like one of those Cause even, up here blazers, yeah, like even even I whispered to the center and then I was like, okay, go praise the Like, the, Can I get an amen? You know I love you, but listen. I love you too. I like I like the fashion you have on right now. It's simplistic, and I could I've I've been able to deal with the I'm ties and the vests person. and all of that. I rock with that. I rock, but the blazer just really threw me off a loop. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, baby, what's going on? But anyways, today is Sunday. He knows I love him, y'all. Don't don't with the comments. Cause they they swear they swear that I be like. I don't know. Y'all be thinking I don't like. I be coming hard for Mike. You be bulldozing. And yeah. I no, I'm y'all not a bully. That's what he be doing. He this be is our relationship. This is how this is our relationship. This is B fam. Like this is they come for me. I come for them. Like this is how we do. Like really. Anyways, bully. We're not coworkers. We're friends. Bully tubing. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> bully tubing. But um, so today is Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday, obviously. We went out. We had a good time. We saw Wrath of the Titans. Yeah, that's why I look the way I do right now on camera. Rather, the Titans was. What did y'all think? I it thought was, it, was, it good. was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was a lot better than the first one for me. I never seen the first one, but it was it was cool. This particular go around, it's like a linear story more so than the other one. The other one was just a little bit of everything just thrown in all over the place. This yeah. one was more linear. You knew what the point was. You knew what the focus was. You knew what the objective was, and they got straight to the point. Mm -hmm. And like it started in like five minutes already. They were really getting straight to the point, mm -hmm. which is how I like for movies to start. Mm -hmm. um, and then the story in between was good. You got to know the, the you know the dynamic between the son and the father and all mm -hmm. of that. So it was pretty cool. And the and the, and the, the graphics was nice. Graphics, I mean, the action was hot. I would go see Hunger Games before I would see Wrath of the Titans, but. You know, they're two completely different movies. Mm -hmm. Rap of the Titans was cool. Hunger Games was more appealing. So, that would be my take on it. But would it, you suggest going to see Rap of the Titans? Um, yeah, in 3D. Yeah, check it out. Uh, the 3D definitely helped out the movie. The 3D, um, 3D I don't 3D think I would have nice. enjoyed it as much if I didn't see it in 3D. <clears> because, 3D I mean, was it, was, nice. it was a good movie. It wasn't great, but it was a good movie. It was a good movie. It was okay. good. It was okay. worth watching. So, after Rap of the Titans, and me getting over the church blazer. We decided to walk um, toward um, Secrets. And um, these guys know I'm a Secrets head. He can care less about Secrets and he can care less about Secrets. Although the last two times that we went to Secrets, he had an amazing time. And I don't know if he'll admit it to himself, but he was going off in Secrets the last two times that we've been to Secrets. <laughs> and really going off to really wanting to like fondle people and stuff like that. What? So he had a lot oh of fun the gosh. last two times in the Secrets. Lies. The before deceit. then, before then, he was like, I can't stand Secrets. Uh, it's just time I talk about real. I don't really understand Secrets. I don't like it. I don't like it. But now I'm like, woo! Woo! Yes! <laughs> get that drink, get that drink! So he be enjoying Secrets. But um, we decided to have <laughs> this We decided to go, we decided to go to Secrets and um, it was packed. Shout out to Derek J from um, um, 
Hair Battles, Hail Battle Stars, something like that. I can't remember the name of the show. But he was there. Uh, Monifa stopped by uh, yeah. Secrets Lounge. And I haven't seen or heard of Monifa in a very, very, very long time. But she looks good. She looks different. Yeah. But she looks good. Um, so Monifa, Monifa was there. You guys need to go to Secrets. Like, Secrets is a good time. Um, obviously. In small time, but... Yeah, it is very small. Yeah. It was. It got packed. It got packed like around one something or whatever. And at that point, when it's packed, you can't really move around to do anything. If you like to dance and you be all over the place with dancing, you can't do that um, at yeah. Secrets. Um, you can do that on Sundays because Sunday there's hardly anybody there. It's, you can hear crickets. But on Saturday, <laughs> Sunday was the day I got fucked up. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't last week's Sunday. It was the Sunday before last week. Yeah, Sunday I got wolfed. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I had a good time at Secrets, and I love going to Secrets with my peoples. And Centric has been to Secrets with me the last two times, and I've had an amazing time with my brother. So I love going with um with with my peoples. So I'm glad that they were able to come with me, and they didn't like was like Secrets. I ain't going to Secrets. Fuck Secrets. But we went and we had a good time. I want to shout out my stripper Chino. Okay, um, that's what he said his name was. I didn't know. His name was Chino. He told me his name. He told me his real name. I'm not going to go out there and say his real name. But he said that he saw my Dawn video, my Dawn review video. Mm -hmm. He had turned on the video thinking that it was the actual video. But if you clearly read, the title <laughs> says review. So it's not going to be the actual video. But when he clicked on the video, he saw me and he was all shocked. He was like, oh my God, I didn't know you do videos and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. So we had that conversation. And... Um, I went in to tell him, I'm like, I'm always bigging you up on the videos. I'm always talking about my dark skin stripper and my and Diamond. Because all of you guys know about Diamond. You've heard about Diamond in the B-Fame series. So, um, when I was dancing with him, he was like, oh, well, shout me out on your video, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, okay, so what do I call you? He was like, call me Chino. And I looked at him, I was like, what? He was like, well, it's short from Cappuccino, but he thought Cappuccino would be cheesy. And I was like, yeah, it would have been cheesy to call yourself Cappuccino. So he just shortened it, shortened it to Chino. And when you look at him, I don't see him as a Cappuccino. And I don't see him as a Chino. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. But anyways, I had, a, I had an amazing time. I drank a little bit. Um, I saw a particular individual that had me fucked up in the head at one point. And I realized, although, you know, I was I was tweeting about it the last couple of days, that I'm no longer fucked up in the head over this particular individual. And I was able, I didn't even look at this person more than twice yesterday. And for me, that is like amazing because when I fall for somebody, I fall dramatically hard. And these people, they hear it all day, every day about my cries and my woe is me's and everything. They hear it all day, every day. So when we were going to Secrets and I had explained to them that I was finally over this person, they was like, whatever, child pay it because the check won't clear on that one. Like, they didn't believe me. Um, they didn't believe me, but I don't I don't even know if they acknowledged the fact that I really wasn't giving two shits about this particular individual last night. Deleted. But um, I really, like, I didn't even think about this person and it, it felt so good because... It's not a good situation to fall for somebody that does not have the same feelings and emotions for you and you are just really thinking about this person and you want to be around this person and you want to call this person and you want to do all this stuff with this person and this person does not equally value you the way that you value them. It, it sucks. It hurts. Excuse me. It hurts. And it's just, it's just not a good feeling at all. You know what I'm saying? And so for me, it takes me a while to get over somebody, but once I'm over them, I'm over them. And it felt so good last night to be out with my peoples and to really know that I, in my mind, that I was good so that when I finally got there and I put myself to the test, because I told him, I was like, I told Mike, I was like, one of the reasons why I wanted to come out last night was to solidify whether or not I was actually holding true to what I felt in my heart. And when I got there, I was just like, whatever, hey, what's up? Yeah, alright. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, alright. Ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? It was, it felt so good. It felt so good. And um, I had an amazing time. I had an amazing time. It was, it was, um, nice. It was nice. I was getting mad play. Centric was getting mad play. What? Out of his blazer. 
So how was your time? I had a good time. I don't remember the last half of the night, to be honest with y'all. Ooh. Cause um I had quite a few drinks. Ooh. And I had mixed drinks. Ooh. So and when I say mixed, well, it's really a mixture of alcohol. I didn't really keep it at one alcohol level. It was like vodka, it was hypnotic, it was gin and Red Bull. Yeah, so for the last half of it, like I was there. Like I'm you know, I wasn't like sloppy drunk. I was there, but I really wasn't there. He was good. He was just in that Chris Brown mode. Yeah, I was yeah, I was ready to fight. I just got in the car. I was like, you saw all these dogs. I was ready to fight last night. Like and I don't know what was wrong with me. Like for I remember for like the last half, like I think he was on the train and I was like I don't know. We didn't even get to the train. <laughs> we didn't even get to the train. Even before, and, and it's funny that he says that because even while we were walking there, we were talking about Sizzle because we're all going to Sizzle in, in a month and a half. And he was like, well, I hope everybody you know is, is about it because, you know, I really don't want to have to be on my P's and Q's and have to fuck somebody up. I really hope that, um, you know, this dude, this particular dude is cool because I was looking at his videos and if he run me the wrong way, I'm gonna punch him in his face. I really <laughs> hope that. And I'm just like, Centric, really? Like, what's the problem? <laughs> Who's side? Who's side? He was like, no, nah, because I saw you on the videos and I really don't know this person, but this person seems cool. But you know how people are on their videos, they be faking, da 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 da. I really don't. I hope these, I hope they get along with the circle. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because we, we be fam, we're gonna be going down there. I don't have to fuck nobody up, da 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 da. I'm just like, wow. and my, mind you, this is on the way to the club. So when you mix in alcohol with that attitude, I was talking. This is this fine ass bartender there, and he's not dark skinned Y'all know I love my dark skinned men. I'm a skintist. I'm not a racist like these boys was calling me yesterday because they kept they kept every time they talked to me about every time this one talks to me about a guy, I'm like he's not dark skinned and so he really every time I say that he gets annoyed. <laughs> he gets annoyed and he gives me this ugly face like and then yesterday he had the audacity to call me a racist he was like you are racist and I'm like I'm like no I'm not I'm a skin test <laughs> and I said I told him I said it's all about the skin you know what I'm saying there's a certain allure that I get when I see a dark skinned brother more so than if there was a light skin and a, if there was a light skin and a dark skin sitting next to each other I would be I would be compelled to talk to the dark skin versus the light skin because it's just naturally what I like. This is what I like. Not to say that I wouldn't date somebody that was not dark skin or I wouldn't give somebody the time of the day that was not dark skin. That's not what I'm saying. You know, I just naturally, that turns me on. You know what I'm saying? I have to look at a dark skin brother walking out of the shower naked and get aroused and look at a light skin brother walking out of the shower naked and it will have to take some time for it to happen because I would have to mentally think of what I would do with that person. That's how strong of a uh, you know thing that is for me. But anyways, the bartender was a light skinned bartender, and he is fine as hell. And I was telling this dude that did you see the new bartender? This bartender is hot or whatever. And he was like, I'll pay it, whatever. <laughs> he was giving that. He was giving a stink yeah. attitude last night, and I'm like, really? Ow, what is the problem? So I walked over there and um, I told him, I was like, look, come on, you need to see who this bartender is. He was like, mm -hmm. he all right, whatever. And so when the boy <laughs> took off, when the boy took off his shirt, it was just all she wrote for me because I was just, whoo. And where I, the way I am, I like to dollar, 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 dollar. You know what I'm saying? So I walked up to him and I was like, um, do you mind if I could tip you for just being sexy? And he looked at me, he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, because I don't want nothing else from you. I'm just, you know, you're sexy. He was like, all right. And I did it. <laughs> I tipped him on. He had these little cute little green underwear on. And I, I told him, I know, and I was like, boop. There you go, boom. And then after that, we was talking. And um, <laughs> yeah, he's a very interesting guy. He's a very interesting guy. And he's straight. And when I told this boy that the guy was straight, this is when we had an entertaining conversation about straight people can't work into gay clubs. And I was like, really? I never said that. Yes, you did. I never said that. Yes, you did. I never said that. Yes, you I did. I would never say anything like yes, that. Yes, you did. I wouldn't say anything like you that. You said that yesterday. I never said that. In some form, shape, way, it was said like that. No, it's no form, shape, way. That's what I you said. I never said that. I said So no. are you saying it was the liquor? It probably was a liquor. Because he I was, it. I know I heard it. Yes, heard quite a few times. Because we had a debate about it. Yeah, no, we had a I debate said, about it. It really wasn't. It was more of like I, I didn't mean it that way. It was more like I don't know how tolerant 
an actual straight guy would be working around gay men. But that's not what you said, though. That's not what you said. We're filming right well, now. It's, Don't it's, try to simmer it down. But you know Don't what? Don't try it's, to simmer it down. Of Well, that's what I meant by it. That's what I meant by it. I don't, I'm sorry the way you took it. <laughs> the way I took it? I'm sorry. Whatever. Because I was sitting here, I was like, well, what about Mike? Because uh, he's straight and he... Yeah, but Mike doesn't work at a gay club. He did for quite some time. For quite some time, so we were we were having this debate, and I'm just like, you can't, you can't prejudge somebody. From I'm not, that's not a judgment. It's not a prejudgment. Yes, it was because you was like, he's honey, and I'm like, he's not honey. He's and the yo. Only reason why I say, look, and the, re and the only reason why I got really get the hell I know, right? No, no, no. But if, if I'm not mistaken, the reason why I said he's honey is because this is not the first time that I've seen him at a gay party, gay event. Period. But he just didn't dance at one place. You said what? He didn't dance at just one particular place. I'm not place. talking about Mike. I'm talking right, about but Mike is not a special about. entity. Mike is a human being that is straight, that has worked in gay environments. And so is this particular bartender. What I was telling him, I was like, when I said that the bartender was straight, he gave me the illest look like, whatever, pay it because the check won't clear. He's like, the boy's not straight. I'm like, well, if he tells me that he's straight, then he is straight. At the end of the day, I don't want anything from him. I just wanted to give him some money because he was cute and he was in that type of environment to give people money. He just wasn't on top of the bar. So I would have rather him strip, but he stripped well enough for me to be working behind the bar, so I gave him a tip. And um, I didn't I didn't look at him in, in that I want to take him to the back and have sex with him kind of thing. I was just like, he's a very attractive guy. So when he was like, he was like, he was like, you know, I feel comfortable with you. You don't make me feel whatever, whatever. I'm like, I'm not trying to do that. Like, you, me talking to you is not me trying to get your number or, or trying to stalk you. Like, you're cute. I'm giving you money. That's it. I'm not, you know, I'm going to walk away from you and be like, whatever. I'm going back to work. You know what I'm saying? And so he was like, good, I feel comfortable. He was like, as long as you realize that I'm straight and I like girls. I said, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't need to care who you like. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I was just like, centric, really? What? Don't get the wrong idea, people. What? That's not what I, I mean, if that's... Said. Centric. If that's how you feel, he is going then that's for me in this video. And no, I, I'm no, not. I'm sitting here all silence. Listen, I'm getting over my hangover right now, and he's <laughs> just attacking me because I have because of the lack of words I have today because of we my keep, hangover. We keep it real on B fam, and we you know, do keep it real. And Blue Eyes I wasn't Slipper. judging him based on that. I wasn't judging him based on that. In my opinion, I just felt as though because I have seen him at other <coughs> events, I, I don't know how tolerant, and they weren't bartending events, so I don't know how tolerant a, an actual straight man would be. Working in constant gay environments as such. That's all I really meant by that. Well, that type of, that type of environment he was in wasn't really that bad. It's not really that serious for him. That's no, like, as a bartender, no. Because at the end of the day, that's, 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 that's a, a job. That's a but if you're at him. other events and you're dancing with other men and blah, blah, blah. And okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, go, I hang out, you know, with, you know, all types of people. So at the end of the day, when you see certain things, you kind of look at other things in a different way. Like... Mm. That's just how it is, like... This is his opinion, you know what I mean? You're very quiet. Hmm? What's going on? I'm hearing y'all talk, because you, you're mentioning about a particular situation that involved y'all too, so I'm just listening. I was there, but y'all seeing everything that's yeah, going you, on. Yeah, you really were there. I was. I was watching everything that was going on, so... Mm. The observer. Yeah. Right. I was chilling, y'all. I was what? Yes, he was. I was in a zone. I be in a club. I don't try to fight. I don't, you know, I'm good. I like this one. I'm trying to fight. No, but, you know, if there's sometimes it, there's a certain point that, you know, you might get stepped on, bumped into, especially... Yeah, you need, you need somebody know. like that in your group that's you going to pop off. Yeah, because I could be like that. <laughs> I could be like that, you know, but it takes, I don't know, like if you're dancing and you got all this space over here, there's no reason why you're backing it up right here, like there's no reason for that. Might like, be ready no, to fight too. That Like it'd be certain situations, as long yeah, as I'm away from you and I got my little spot and my little I'd be so PG, like I'd be so I'd be PG, I'd be just like, why are you like touching me, like at all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'd just be so PG, but I don't know, these dudes be ready to get it popping and i just be uh -huh. like... Because, I mean, nobody wants to be, nobody's ever comfortable, you know what I'm saying, being with, with people that you go to a clubs and they always want to fight. I cut off too many people like that, but I, shit was severe. Like, if they're already in that zone, they're like, look, this, that, that. But when you take an action already and the situation wasn't even that serious, serious and I was there and you pushing, dude, 
you don't know what you don't know what vibe I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if I didn't really want to fight? What if I knew of another spot? There could have been other ways. You know, now we got 86 from a, a particular spot we normally chill at, mm -hmm. and now you got us 86. Now we got all this all this dudes boys. You know what I'm saying? Wait for us outside. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I look too fly. I look too cute for you know, to be fighting like that and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was situations like that. I came there to chill, to have fun. Like, we didn't come here to fight. Yeah, we could all throw hands, but, you know, that don't mean nothing. Like, I still ain't come here to, to fight, you know? There be p particular situations. I might come to you and I'll be like, look, you see this dude right here? I'm about to lock his jaw right now, son. Like, seriously. Oh, what happened? And I'll tell you the situation. But it's not like you're chilling, you're like, woo, hey, you know what I'm saying? And then you're like, whoa, and then you see me already thumping with somebody, punches, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see right. me. Right, there needs to be, there needs to be a you know briefing. Like, like, you need to have a yeah. five-hour meeting before shit happens. Right. Because at the end of the day, I could be downing it down, getting mm -hmm. wasted, not knowing that you're heated about a particular situation, and then if something pop off, I'm too drunk to really get involved in the situation because That's you didn't tell me anything, and then I'm getting my ass whooped because I'm, I'm I'm inebriated. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, communicate. There needs to be a briefing. It needs to be. It needs to be like some Morse code. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then y'all go into the corner and you be like, I'm Okay, break. Then we go out. And then <laughs> you, you know when something gonna pop up when you see it from afar, like something about to fly off. Right. So it's gonna be like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, be like, right, right. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, bitch, yes, yes, bitch. Yes, so if you see me in the corner with the drink, I'm be like this, like just chilling, I'm be like this. <laughs> like, Seriously, I give you the eyes and I'll be like this, like somebody about, somebody about to fly. You know off. what? When his his what I would say in a club, if you are, if you are in a club, you don't know how appealing or how unappealing you are to a particular individual. So, if you're the type of person that do not like, that does not like people walking up to you and just embracing your your presence, then you shouldn't go to a club because you never know if it's going to happen. Like if you go to a club and you already have an attitude, that's a problem because uh, there are a lot of people that might approach you and be like, hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? Like, uh, you know, I really saw you from afar and you know, I just want to, you know, and then you may not be in the mood. Don't go to clubs if you're that type of person that really can't. Yeah. Tell somebody, you know, hey, uh, you know, or have a, co a cool conversation with somebody and you not be in the mood because you never know when somebody's gonna approach you. Cause this guy was approaching me when I'm sitting here. I've been I was looking for Centric and and um, Man versus Music for like 45 minutes. They had me holding a drink, looking for them. And um, I'm at the I'm at the bathroom, and this dude out of nowhere just walks up to me, and I'm just like, I look at him and I'm like, okay, I don't know you. And so he walks up to me and he's like, hey, you know, hey, I wanted to ask you something. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, okay. And I'm at the time, I'm still looking for Centric to come out the bathroom because I thought he went to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> and, and the guy is like, the guy's like, do you know any spots or anything that's, you know, that's hot and popping on Sundays? And I'm just like, well, not really. I mean, you can come here if you want, but I don't really go out. I just go out on Saturdays. And he kept asking me like the same question. And the same question, and the same question, and then somebody else walked up to me and was like, "Hey, how you doing?" And kind of like saved me a little bit. But then he walked away, and then the guy was still standing there, and he wanted to ask me about the same question and the same question. Mm. So like, it gets to a point where you get annoyed, but you have to understand that certain people may not know how to communicate well, or mm. they may not know how to approach you, but they're doing it anyway just to get some kind of whatever. So you can't be like standoffish and ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be willing to accept somebody to walk to you. Sometimes when people go to the club, it's like, usually I'm nervous and don't want to walk up to somebody until I get that eye. Like, we communicate through that eye language, and then I'll walk up to you. But I don't know. You just got to be willing to, you got to be willing, you got to be willing to accept being groped on. Because he was broke doing a lot of the time. And I don't like that shit. And he was catching attitude. Because I don't like it. See, but there's a difference. It's the way you just said it about approaching somebody. If you want to approach me, then approach me with words. Do not approach me if you don't know me. Already touching me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So that's what's going to get you smacked away and then it's going to be a fight. That's just how I am, people. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a violent person, but 
just don't but here's what until I give you permission don't feel as though it's okay to like touch me inappropriately now if you if you touch my side or you touch my shoulder something like that but if you go as far as to touching my ass you touching my dick you you know what I'm saying you're rubbing on me and I don't know you from a hole in the wall that's a problem that's okay a problem. so here's what I'm gonna say to that here's what I'm gonna say to that you're in a club you're in the gay club so men, men are sexually active. So men what? like to flirt and all of that stuff. You cannot be surprised if that happens. No, it's not. It's not a surprise because it has happened before. It's not a surprise, but that doesn't mean I tolerate it. Right, and you don't have to. So, but what I'm gonna say is, like, if I do that the first time, you're not gonna be automatically ready to fight. You're no, gonna tell you me, look, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm look, saying. If don't you do touch that the first me. Time, you're blah, gonna get blah, smacked blah. away a little bit. And it's gonna be like, yo. Calm down. Right. And if you continue to do it, then that's when the problem. Yeah, that's, oh, what, okay. that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, this boy saying. ready to pop off already. No, I'm just, you know. You gotta expect, you gotta expect certain shit not, like that see, to it's happen. Not, that's not the only thing that, it doesn't only happen in gay clubs. Like, I, you know, this happens in all types of clubs. Right. And I just feel as though nobody should. I just can't see As it. an individual, I don't feel as anybody should tolerate a stranger groping on your body when they don't know you. Period. Until you have that communication. Mm. And until I say it's okay for you to touch me or it's okay to dance, don't touch me. That's it. Oh, so if a if a girl if a girl, <laughs> so, so, he got strong with so, it. So if a shorty walk past, it's that white beard. There's some power behind it. Right. Yes. So, um. So if a girl walk past you and she got her drink, she's like, "Oh, hey, hey, cutie." Boop. And she just grab on a vegetable. Like, if it's a shorty. I mean, and. I, it's still gonna shock me. Like I, the, I might grab my hand a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I might be like, oh, whoa, like, what are you doing? I, I still might, like, <laughs> brush it off because, I mean, that's still a surprise to me. It's like, oh, what are you doing? Right. You know, but I don't hit girls, so that's a different That's yeah. a different story. But what if she kept doing it? I might have to, <laughs> I might have to shake her off a little bit, like, go over there. Flirt alert. Flirt alert. alert. Flirt yeah, alert. Right. I'm just saying, but you see how his demeanor calmed down? Because it's, 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 don't say, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Number one, it's a female. One thing I always it's a female. Want, that don't make a, that don't don't make a like difference. Females. One thing I, I always like tell somebody. I, I said, look, if if bras was out there burning their motherfucking bras because they want to equal rights, they can equally get their ass fucked up. At the end of the day, no. don't don't touch somebody and not expect them to just sit there. I, I, and, and just expect them to sit there and take it because you got a vagina. You don't put that's, your hands on no female, period. And the female does not put their hands on you. And I, that's and I agree that's with all that I'm going to say about that because there's no way. Hands on you. Right, there's no way I'm just going to sit there and get my ass whooped because you got a vagina. You know what I'm saying? And there's no way I'm going to treat you any different than the next one because as a supervisor, the shit pisses me off. When a female tells me, oh, I need a guy to help me lift that up. Bitch, you got two hands. Lift that shit up yourself. Oh you know God. what I'm saying? Like, that's how I go. Now, I go in like that because. People, people really think that it's okay for females to do certain shit, and it's okay for men to do certain shit. That's at the end of the day, if everybody wants to be played equal and treated equal, then everybody's gonna be played equal and treated equal. Like that shit pisses me off. Like with pallajacks, like pulling pallajacks at work. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't pull it. Why the fuck not? Like, why can't you pull it? Why? Is it literally too heavy for you, or are you saying you can't pull it because you just got your nails done? Really? Are you really serious? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit pisses me off. And then they'd be the first one to be like, well, I should have got the promotion. For fucking what? You can't pull pallet jacks. You can't pull pallet. You can't lift shit. You need to be able to lift and pull pallet, pull pallet jacks and work freight like the men do for you to get this promotion. So don't sit here and say it's a sexual situation because that's not why you didn't get the promotion. No, bitch. You don't want to do the shit that we do. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I feel the same way. Like, if a girl gropes on me and I'm not in the mood to be groped on... I'm going to tell her, don't grope on me. Yeah. Leave me the hell alone. Yeah. If she continues to do it, I'm going to gr Don't grope on me. Leave me the hell alone. Yeah, but I just think you're cute. And that's great. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just playing. About to go off. No, I'm just playing. But at the end of the day, I just really, I really feel like... I'm talking about the comments. They're about to go off. They can. They, they I don't give a fuck. I don't give a female. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want equal rights. I'm going to treat y'all equal. If you, if you lay hands... Expect to get hands laid on you. And I'm not really talking about from me, but I'm just saying, I'm not going to be that type of dude that's just going to sit there and allow somebody to get my ass whooped. I don't care if it allows somebody to whoop my ass. I don't care if it's a male or female. You're not going to just sit there. And I'm not just going to sit there and be like, okay, somebody get her off. Somebody get her off me. No, it's not going to work like that.
It's not gonna work like that. And there I don't are still think ways I don't think you can control the situation without going. Yes, get her the fuck off of you. Yeah. Yes. Going and if over. words if words are not working, get her the fuck off of you. Yeah. Because which, some which is, some females but, some females are strong. Yeah. Some females are strong. A lot of females are stronger than me. I'm a little ass muff. It don't make it don't make it doesn't mean that just because I'm a dude, I'm stronger than a chick. So at the end of the day, I don't care if you're a chick or not. If you're hitting, if you're throwing hands on me and you're making my face look terrible, then I'm going to fuck you up. Because at the end of the day, there's nobody around getting your stupid ass off of me, so I'm really going to hurt you. And at that point, it has nothing to do with the fact that you have a vagina between your legs. It has everything to do with the fact that you're disrespecting my space. You're in my face, and you're doing bodily harm to me. So there's no way that I'm just going to be like, all right, stop. No. No, this is not how it's supposed to be. No, 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 it don't work like that. It just does not work like that. You know what I'm saying? So if a dude gross me, I like men over females, I'll be like, yo, you know, whatever, all right, y'all know I'm cute, step back. But they're gonna get they're gonna get treated the same way. And I just feel that females and men should be treated the same way equally. Period. Period. Females, a lot of you women out there think that it's okay to hit up on a man because they were taught not to hit you back. I'm not the one. That's all I'm going to say on that one. I am not the one. My mother told me straight to my face, if a person put their hands on you and you feel that you cannot hurt them with your own hands, grab something and knock them the fuck out. And it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female because nobody has the right to lay hands on you. Period. Very well, sir. Umbilical cord off. Oh. Yeah, off. Oh. Umbilical cord off. Oh. Bro, snip that. Man, listen. But see, Chris was fun. Yeah. It really was. And I, I can't wait for SZO because we're going to SZO. Mm -hmm. May 23rd. We're going to be there from May 23rd to May 30th. Together. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I've got to give a shout out to um, Alabama Rob on Twitter. Brother bought a BFAM shirt. Oh, and was oh, rocking it. Was rocking it. That's what's in it. Okay, was yes. rocking it. Let me see if I can give him a proper shout out by showing his picture on him. Okay. Um. Uh. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Because I was just like, what? I'm still having a severe hangover. Really? Attack over here. I'm you know? so sad. <laughs> That was so fake. No, it was. No, was it was genuine, though. It was genuine because I, I hate that feeling. That so like, bad. I hate that feeling because it, it feels terrible to feel that way. Hey. Yes, man. right? Yes. That is what's shout up. Out shout out to the camera. All right. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? That's a nice shirt. Be, be fam, fam, baby. Be fam all day. That's what's up. And you know, it really, it really hits home that so many different people watch us. And the demographic is not so tailored to one yeah. specific ethnicity. Like, I, it's so hot. When I saw the picture, I was like, ah, wait! So shout out to Alabama Rob. He was like, he was at a he was at a store buying something and this black guy looked at him like, why is he wearing a B-Fam shirt? And I'm like, you had on a B-Fam shirt? What B-Fam shirt did you have? And I was like, send me a picture. And he sent me the picture. I was like, yeah, that's hot. That's, that's, hot. that's, that's hot. rocky. I love it. I really, I really appreciate that because at the end of the day, uh, B fam is a strong message within regards to straight and gay being able to coexist on the same mm -hmm. frame, and and I, I really, I really love the fact that you guys are embracing that concept. So it's a beautiful situation. A lot of you guys out there speak upon, speak about your your best friends that you have that are straight, and you like the fact that we're doing it and how we get along. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Do I don't know if the audience knows what you are. They don't need to know. That's what makes me eccentric. Because he's eccentric. <laughs> yes, because I'm a mystery within itself. All right. I'm I don't call. talk. I mean, just oh. just say so I know. I don't. Talk, I don't. I don't talk about my personal relationships in public. I don't. I. I'm very private. I'm a very private individual. Yeah. I guess it just comes along with being a Virgo. But yeah, I don't really discuss my personal relationships or my sexual relationships with anybody except for my B-Fams in private. But publicly, no, you're not going to know any of that stuff. Interesting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the love I mean, because is, is that really important to know that? It's not really important. It really isn't. Nah, and, and, you know, um, really a lot hate. of people... But it's I, fun. It's fun hearing those type of conversations. Especially, I don't know, especially on uh, with y'all, you know what I'm saying? The supporters. 
You know what I mean? Y'all definitely want to hear stories. Because, you know, we're real people. We go through real, real shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Relationships and all that. And, right. And you know I think saying? that's the whole point of the connection. Oh. Adopt a similar connection yeah. despite our differences. Like, you're not going to know how we're going to adopt that connection if we yeah. don't know anything about each other. So, I, I think I think the well, fact... there are other things to know about me besides my sexual relationships and my personal Sexual orientation. And my sexual orientation. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? But like I was saying, Sizzle is going to be hot. And if you guys want to meet us or get to know us, we will be there. We are going to have a positive, upbeat time. Um, I, I want to explore Miami a little bit more, uh, more than last the last two times I went. Um, we're all going on the <laughs> yacht cruise. So if you want to be on the yacht cruise with us and do it up, you, know you, you may have a you know chance to be in a B fan video yeah. because we're gonna be recording and recording yeah. and recording and recording. I yeah. hope y'all so, I hope y'all recognize his face on the boat. That's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome <laughs> time. Go, that's Mike. <laughs> and then um, Mike said he's gonna wear some thongs on the beach. You know, what I'm so saying? that's gonna all be day. hot all day. You know, I was gonna surprise her, but you know, yeah, no, yeah. it's gonna be as humid. You know what I'm saying? It's real, really. It's <laughs> yeah, gonna be yeah, hot. Yeah. Saying, like, um, but I cannot wait to meet you guys. Um, me neither. I, I, I feel that we've we've garnered a lot, you know, more more viewers than last year. So a lot of you guys will recognize us when we go there. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to meet you guys and speak to you guys and say thank you so much and let's hang out and let's party and let's have a good time. And, and um, That's and it. It's gonna be love. it's gonna be a beautiful time. Like I I've, I've never had a negative experience experience in being in Sizzle and I choose not to have one this year. Yeah. Um I'm gonna be with my B fams and it's just gonna be all she wrote. Oh, a lot of the bloggers are not going this year. Uh, nobody's really gonna be there but myself, Scorpion Blue Eyes Simba, and that's about it. 3LW TV is not even going to be there this year. He's only going to be there for one day, and I'm a little bummed out about that. Um, I guess a lot more, more people are really gearing up toward Inferno DR, which I'm going to do Inferno, Inferno the DR this year. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be a bomb-ass time. But it's not seven days, it's only four. So I don't mm -hmm. really know how much fun I can have in four days. But you can have a lot of fun in four I days. guess, but it's like, I can't wait to go. Because now it means that I have to get a passport and I have to go through all that passport issue stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm finally going to have a passport so I can leave the US of A. Um, but I'm definitely going to go to the Inferno DR. He has pushed me in that direction a little bit more going to his China trip to mm -hmm. allow me to like go beyond the border somewhat. Although yeah, DR is really not that far beyond the border, but no, it's, it's, it, it's, 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 it's going to be a trip. Yeah. So it's going to be fun and I can't wait. Yeah. I really cannot wait for Sizzle, y'all. I really cannot wait yeah. for Sizzle. It's going to be so much fun. walk and talk and chill, bug out, have some drinks, you know. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Eat a lot of food. Eat a lot of food. I am. Out. If you, I am. You know, I'm a, I might have some accessories while I'm out there, you know, in case y'all run into me. You know, I might have like two strings and like two seashells, just like this. So if you see a dude walking on the beach with the seat, that's me. <laughs> so. Now he's a mermaid. Yeah. Hot so man. Hot man. I'm the sexiness on that beach right there. So. Right. All this. You working, you want to get your body right? Oh, hell yeah. What? Push us in my sleep. I've been gaining weight, y'all, and I've been I I've never been over 150. This video is about me. I feel like my B fam aren't really talking, but I never I never been over 150 pounds, and currently right now I weigh 162 pounds, and I am livid. I am so ecstatic. I, I'm trying to get to 175. I did my working out with insecurities video, and a lot of you guys are looking at me like, brother, there's no reason for you to be insecure about your body, but. Adopting no those similar connections despite our differences, I have a lot of insecurities about my body. And it's it's my mental handicap. You know what I'm saying? What y'all see is not what I see. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I made that video. Although some people think that I am this and I'm attractive and I have a nice body, I don't feel that way. So if I'm making the video working out with insecurities, I'm sure there are a lot of other video people out there that understand what, what I'm going through. Um, and will be willing to to fight the odds and go to the gym and do what they have to do to make their body look better in their mind for how they want their body to look. And I always tell myself, if I get to 175, I am going. That's all that I'm going to need, and I am going to be the cockiest in, my, in this world. And he knows. Yesterday I was going off, and I kept mentioning. I was like, I'm getting weight. I got it weight. And he already knows the struggle that I've been going through with feeling lesser 
than because of my weight and uh, me being thin and all of that. So when he first saw me, he was like, oh shit. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I know I'm gaining. Yeah, when I got here, I noticed that he put on some weight, so I was like, I was like, oh shit, I was like, yeah, you did put on some weight, yeah, like, wow. he's trying to, he's like, <laughs> all crunched up, just looking at his iPad like this, you know what I'm right. saying, with the arms like, yeah. oh shit, I see a chest, yes, I bitch. see a boom, yeah. a man boom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yes. yeah. It's so it's just a beautiful it's, thing. It's consistency, you know, that's, that's I what gotta it do it, I gotta, I gotta, and, and a lot of you guys have been yes. asking how I've been doing it, um, for me, my regular—it's a natural, run-of-the-mill type of routine. It's not even like systematic. It's really just me making sure that I'm eating, and me making sure that I eat more than three times a day. That's one. Me going to the gym. I go to the gym three times a week now, and I just started taking uh, muscle milk, which is mm -hmm. a one serving drink I that I drink milk. after the gym. So I don't know if that's impacted it at all. I know but, it is. Um, let's, put, let's put in protein in the muscles. Yeah, protein. Yeah, that's so like two grams and one, one. Right, and one serving. little one little thing. So yeah. I've been doing that. So that's been my little whatever, and it's been helping me a little bit. So I'm just gonna continue that all the way up until sizzle and see what I end up looking like. And if I get my 175 before uh, sizzle, I'm just gonna be shirtless all through the videos, all through the videos, all through the videos. Is that West? Yeah, he got his shirt off. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh shit! But I cannot wait. I I cannot wait. I, I'm telling y'all, life is so amazing. Life is so beautiful, and it's like things can be ten times worse. And for me, I feel so humbled and so blessed to have more than one individuals in my life. And shout out to Tiffany. I've been she's been my best friend for over twenty years. I have real positive people in my life that keep me grounded, that keep me humble, and that I want to do for. And not have any problems with it. Like I, I like I like being able to give back in any way, shape, or form because it, you are my friend. Like I should be able to give you whatever I have and not feel any certain way about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's a true, true test of a relationship when you feel that you don't have to be like, well, am I gonna have to pay him back on Monday because or, um, well. I can't hang out with Centric if Mike is not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we don't, like, I don't have restrictions in my friendships. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I call you my friend, then you're my friend. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and that should be, like, the freest form of any relationship because you have constant communication. You know everybody's boundaries. But understand that as a friend, for me, as a friend, I'm going to do for you whatever I can, however I can, whenever I can. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you don't agree with something that I do, then speak your mind. But I but do know that that's just me speaking my mind. You don't have to take my advice. You don't have to do anything that I'm saying. But do know that as a friend, I'm always gonna give you my open and honest opinion on how I feel. I'm never gonna tell you something that you need to hear because I feel that you need to hear it, and I don't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like Mike. You look hot. If I really feel that you don't look hot right now. And I feel that that's how I want all of my relationships to be. And I think that's how my friendships should be. And that's how I do my friendships. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I'm never going to let you go. I want to hold you in my arms forever. And I don't know. This is popular. Okay. I just, okay. just want to share that. Okay. I don't know. That's what Okay. Sweet. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not judging you. Why are you still looking at me? I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. is something burning? And that's what it smells like. It smells like something burning. What time is it, y'all? Y'all got wet. Oh, it's 2.32. Okay, so this has been another B-Fam. Yeah. Um, I love y'all, and um, thank y'all for watching. Do you have anything? Thank y'all for watching. We love y'all. Continue to watch. Thumbs up the videos. Follow us. Follow us on Twitter. You know yes. Be friend us on Facebook. That way you get to know us a little bit more than what you know of us on these these videos. And that's it. Have a good week, y'all. Or a good weekend. You know how we do because time zones. I may be going out. And stuff like that. So I may be going out again tonight. Well, have a good time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And treat every day like it's your birthday. You yes. Know yes. All that's day. really like, that's really all it's, all it's about, really. I mean, Every 2012, yeah. everybody's saying that, the, you know, the world is coming to an end and all this extra stuff. And when you think about that, like, your life could be so much 
less than what it is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like you really literally could be laying out on Manhattan on the concrete, just not having anything. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we all, we all have something and we're able to give something, that means a lot to me. And so like, you know, it just means a lot. And, and I really, I really don't take life for granted and I really appreciate everything and anything that I'm able to do and or have, you know? So I love y'all. Thank Thank y'all for watching. God bless. Later.